doing? I'm just practicing my sex voice for the video today. A lot of effort goes into being a social media influencer these days. Yeah! 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 What's up guys? I'm Mackenzie and I'm back again talking about Jake Paul. Except this time, not this Jake Paul, but this Jake Paul, the Australian Aww. Jake Paul, Jamie Zoo, full time social media star. Now it's my full time job. Full time dickhead. Recently at the Australian Open, Australian Jake Paul thought it'd be a dank meme to make sex noises in between sets. Aww. What the fuck? Um, he got a bit of hate and rep for it. He posted on his Facebook and YouTube, but his fans, his loyal fans, they seem to love it. But let's be honest, it's just not funny. At least all the Paul brothers did was dab at the Olympics. Here's the Australian Jake Paul making the worst sex noise I have ever heard. If you haven't seen it yet, let's watch it. That makes this completely justifiable to be a complete cop. There's a guy down there with his camera right now who's standing actually right next to Nick's box. You fucking hilarious, mate. <laughs> Clearly, everyone thought this was fucking hysterical. I do believe that when these people bought tickets for the tennis, they did actually come to see Australian Jake Paul scream like a fucking idiot. <laughs> It's just like, what are you doing? At what point did you stop and think, you know what? This is going to be funny. This <laughs> is going to be hilarious. So if YouTube and Facebook sensation Jamie Zhu thought it would be a great idea to buy tickets for the Australian Open, sit down with his boys, and then stand up and make the worst sex noise I have ever heard in my life. Apparently this is a meme across his videos in the past and he even sells fucking merch with that on it. What the fuck? Shit meme, I rate 3 out of 10. It's just not funny. I just love in this scene where we get to see Jamie's little fuckboy with their homemade porno camera. We also get to see the crowd members who are clearly loving this. And for some reason, this cunt still got a lot of love and views on Facebook. I... I don't know. You're not a comedian, mate. What a legend. Who cares what the rest of the media say? Got on you, Jamie. Stick it up, those reporters. This was the best, haha. <laughs> Honestly, big props to you. The way you presented yourself in those interviews was awesome and inspiring. No matter how much the media tried to push you, you stood up for yourself and every word that came out of your mouth was nothing but positive. When I watch your videos, it brings a smile to my face. Life is too short. Live it to the full. Oh yeah! But fortunately for us, we get to see his audience right at the end of this video so we can understand why he got so much love and support. Fuck yeah! But that's not where it stops. Jamie then deleted the video off both Facebook and YouTube and then replaced it with a 20 minute long vlog of the whole day. Just in case we wanted to see behind the scenes of this genius idea. Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing something really <laughs> crazy like 
Jacob, can you just explain? Maybe don't explain, this but just is, how crazy this is. This is cra this is next level crazy. We're I'm gonna... talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jacob, this is next level crazy. <laughs> After a year where people were literally shooting themselves dead on YouTube for views, this. This is next level crazy. They're always so quiet. I fucking wonder why. They're trying to concentrate, mate. And the crowd, they're usually enjoying their skill. But but no, here you are. Jamie Big Dick. These days being a social media influencer. Just fuck off with that term. Social media influencer. The only people this guy is influencing are 10 year olds and the ones prone to suicidal thoughts. Did you guys hear what I was oh doing? Oh my going god. Up? Look at those chiseled abs. Get me a slice of that cake. That Jamie cake. It's gonna be a really long, oh yeah, followed by a, oh, oh, oh. Mate, I don't even think porn stars put that much thought into their moons, and even they sound more real than that shit. I think my last one was sexual puns in the supermarket, which was like a year and a half ago. Yeah, that, that's probably for the best, to be honest. The noise is still around, and I need to bring it back because it was such a memorable, you know, sound. The thing is, though, it doesn't even sound remotely like a sex noise. The part of the video that is supposed to be funny is the part where people go, oh, why is that cunt having an orgasm over asparagus? Or why is that guy climaxing next to Nick Kyrgios? Not fuck's sake. Who left the autistic kid alone? I feel like I have a responsibility as a human being um, to bring it back. Responsibility. Mate, you're not Martin Luther King. You're not MLK. <laughs> <laughs> Quality content. Look, I just saw it there, it was vulnerable, and I thought I'd take advantage of it. Yeah, nice, nice. Now, now we've moved on from making sex noises at the tennis. We're now making jokes about rape victims. Nice! Literally everyone here is so nice. Like, the security guards are nice, the cops are so nice. Me and Janoski, we pretended like I was a convict, and he chased me and tackled me right in front of the cops, and they just laughed. Here's the clip. <laughs> No, Jamie. Just like the Japanese people in Logan Paul's vlogs, these guys don't think you're funny. They don't think you're cool. They think you're a fucking idiot. But they disagree with hitting special people, so they'll leave you alone. And fucking since when were the Janoskians relevant now? Irrelevant! In Australia, the laws are just not tough here. Like yeah, so let's exploit them. I think the police, the security guards, the staff members, every single person will find it hilarious what I do. Like, I'm actually not affecting anyone. Imagine if someone's come home, having a rough day, they go on Facebook or, you know, YouTube, whatever. Sex noise at the Australian Open Tennis. They watch it and they laugh so, so hard. Yeah, mate, people finding this funny would not be coming home from a long day at work. Because children don't fucking work. Watching this video as it goes on just makes me believe this guy's just auditioning for Pornhub. Jamie Cam Girl. The loudest moan in Melbourne, Australia. Just stop rubbing yourself up, mate. You should not be trying to add sex appeal to videos for 13 year olds. That's just not right. Hashtag Tinder chat tips with Jamie. How to get girls to watch you moan in three easy steps. The little emoji I like to use on girls that I like to speak to. Holy! She responded, she responded, she responded, she responded. She responded. Oh my god, oh my. She responded. <laughs> Jamie, 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 you're not 14 anymore. This shit is not funny. Oh, it's not even her. It's not even her. <laughs> oh shit, it's not even her. What are you doing to Jamie, people? Come on, leave him alone. Leave Jamie alone. Let's go play a prank on one of the employees. You ready? Excuse me, with your shirt. Uh, What a great prank. She clearly thought it was hilarious, mate. Quality oh. prank. You can do whatever you want with your social media. <laughs> you gotta bring my shirt back, man. I just thought that I was gonna have to be like... <laughs> Should I practice my noise right now?
Just fuck off, mate. so hard to watch this. Look mate, you might be the Australian Jake Paul, but you do not have the body of Jake Paul. You're making noises at a tennis match, not fighting Apollo Creed. Yeah, that will get the biddies moist. Hey, you got some supporters? Hey, there's your fan base again. What a legend. Everyone was laughing. Nah, mate. No one was laughing. After all of that, you might have thought, hey, this guy might realize he's a bit of a dick, right? Wrong. Jamie then continues to have interviews with news reporters and just continually talks about his ego and shows really how much of a dick he is. You know, the 2.5 million followers I have uh, thought it was funny. The crowd didn't find it amusing, and if you're a comedian, shouldn't you be making people laugh? Fucking boom, mate! She fucking murdered him. Jamie, nice to meet you. Stop filming for now, just while we do the interview. Um, tell me about the backlash you've caught. Can you please stop recording? Ah, oh, yep. No worries. Let me just sit down here and uh, record it anyway, against your legal wishes. Maybe I'm just like one of those teenage adults. <laughs> Adult is a bit of a stretch, mate. I feel like what I did was was harmless. Yes, Jamie. It was harmless, but you're missing the point here. Yeah, the 2.5 million followers I have. Oh, big boy. Sorry, gun. Sorry for flexing on ya. Clearly, those followers don't transmit to YouTube, though. Your other views are also quite offensive. Yeah, they might, they might be offensive to you, but to other people, they're not. Yeah, they might be offensive to you, but, but fuck your opinion. Get a normal nine to five job, nothing against that at all, but it wasn't for me. And there's the cliche, school wasn't for me, bullshit. School's not for anyone, mate. People uh, from the older generation have a bit of a different sense of humor because we've developed in technology and also humor in itself. Sorry, old guys, you just don't understand me and how I feel. Doing online, they wouldn't really understand it, but that's okay because I completely understand and- You probably wouldn't understand it, but, but that's okay because I'm on a whole other level now. You shouldn't have to work for someone else. You can actually make a living for yourself, you know, run your own business or whatever. Oh, shut the fuck up. You don't run a business. You run a fucking Facebook page, which could die off within six months when your child fan base grows up and realize how much of a fucking cock gobbler you really are. I'll never work for a boss again. I'll never work for a boss again. Jamie, you soft cunt. You're working for fucking YouTube right now, dickhead. You're making them money. You're making Facebook money. You are an asset. You do not work for yourself. You work for a long series of bosses. You wombat. I do see it as harmless. And uh, I, I don't think you're a bad guy. I just think you're a dickhead. A big, fat, floppy cock. Jamie has a ton of other terrible videos and I did watch a few of them. I watched a few and I just started to get this terrible cold sweat going on. You know the kind where you're going into cringe overload and you're just sweating? That's his videos, basically. I'd advise against watching these videos, but to be honest, there was a good one. I did see one, went for about a minute, it was a Christmas one, and I did laugh. It was a funny video, it wasn't an original video, but it was a funny video, and it was lighthearted, and I'll give it to him. It was a good video, and it was funny. It was harmless and funny, but these videos are very few and far between. All in all, Jamie Zoo is an embarrassment to Australians, and Australian creators especially, and as an Aussie, I would usually want another Aussie to be successful, but not this guy. And that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you wanna see more. Check out my videos if you wanna support me because I now need 4,000 watch time hours, boy. Every minute helps, so thank you so much for getting this far in the video. It, it really does mean a lot to me. I'm gonna start a comment of the day throughout my videos, so make a comment down below, and the best comment will be featured in either the next video or the video after it, depending if I get a comment in time. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click a video on the end screen at the very end, and uh, yeah, I will see you later.